Hey, welcome back to another match. This hand is not even remotely close to keepable. This hand is also pretty bad, but I think I'll keep it. I do have some mana, I do have a cantrip. I do have a spoils, so I'm like two pieces off being able to win with the uh, Oracle. So let's keep, discard, uh, bottom a uh, spirit guide. And start with Serum Visions. Um, hmm. Keep the Thassa's Oracle. Uh, so, if I draw an Angel's Grace in two turns, I will win quickly. Looks like I'm playing against some kind of burn deck. Yeah, I might actually want to run out Thassa's Oracle just to be a good blocker if he plays like an Eidolon or something. Yeah. Kind of regret not playing the Oracle now, but I could still draw Angel's Grace. All right, so let's, I'm gonna sleight of hand. See if I can find an Angel's Grace, because if I find an Angel's Grace, then I'm set. Unlife's good enough, okay. So he should not be able to kill me yet. And then Unlife is going to do a good enough job. Oh wow, I really punted that, didn't I? I should have exiled Simeon Spirit Guide to cast Unlife and then I would have had the win next turn. Wow, that was definitely a mistake. Interesting that he didn't attack with a Eidolon. Maybe he's a worried of Snapcaster. All right, so let's cast the Unlife, which essentially gains me ten life. And unless he's got a way to get rid of Unlife, I win next turn. I suppose if he's got a lot of burn, I could still potentially lose just to the um, Eidolon triggers. Actually, there's a better way to do this. Check this out. To make it harder for him to kill me. I mean, I get... I could just ad nauseum. Yeah, I'm just going to ad nauseum because there's a chance that with ad nauseum, my opponent will just assume that he loses and won't realize the whole Thassa's Oracle thing. And maybe he'll see the Thassa's Oracle and spoils the vault, but not quite grasp how that combo uh, works, and maybe that gives me some slight advantage in future games. Because most people that have been playing Modern for a while know how ad nauseum works, but might not know about this adaptation, which while relatively minor, uh, maybe that's like some very small amount of percentage upside where I can win through it. Alright, so... Let me find my Simeon Spirit Guides. So there's one. There's two. There's three. Holding priority. Zap him. Discard that. Four, uh, seven. Uh, 
So this is up to six counters, which is nine damage. This is 11 damage. This is 13 damage. And he'll take 13 and die. I think the fact that uh, COVID-19 is causing so many people to stay home means that MTGO is seeing way higher traffic than usual um, and thus it's being super slow. <laughs> um, it's definitely been feeling the lag the last couple days. I think I'm just going to cut the sleight of hands and put in the four ley lines. Path and uh, last reckoning are worth thinking about, but I don't really want to cut. Maybe I'll cut uh, serum visions for a path. Don't want to cut too much. Um, All right. Yeah, my my MTGO program has been doing this kind of like weird almost crash every time um, every time I join a match or a game ends or something like that. I feel like Magic Online is really struggling nowadays. Um, okay, I have everything I need. I need three mana, uh, two blues, a black. So I need three lands, but I have a ley line of sanctity, which should buy me a bunch of time. <sighs> Maybe he has a goblin guide, potentially. All right, so hopefully this goblin guide feeds me some good lands. Uh, Pentad Prism. Pentad Prism is not a land, but um, is pretty darn good. Yes, Temple of Deceit. Eidolon. Mm. Yeah, I suppose I'll take it. Should have played this Pentad Prism like this last turn. Hopefully I don't lose the game because of it. Um, really, he needs a Shatter to win, though. Without a Shatter, then next turn I play Sea Chrome Coast, Angel's Grace. Um, and then win from there. So let's see if he's got a smash to smithereens. He might have sighted them in, but it's not tremendous against uh, Ad Nauseam because the only thing you can really sh smash is the Pentad Prism. You could shatter a Lotus Bloom, but the Ad Nauseam player just sacks it in response, so you don't actually get the lightning, uh, the, the three damage out of it. But he did have the smash. So that's unfortunate. Now I take four damage. Down to six. Uh, yeah, I think he wins. Um, I'm gonna have to draw a path. 
to not die or a um, Problem is that uh, I could take four down to two, but then next turn in uh, Eidolon still triggers off Angel's Grace. So uh, once you're at two, you can't cast Angel's Grace and live. Which is unfortunate because I had potentially a turn three win if my opponent didn't have Eidolon and Smash. Um, still not gonna change my sideboarding. Just. He had the perfect draw to beat mine. It's also unfortunate that I had that um, City of Brass. If it was a not City of Brass first land, then I would have had one more hit point, uh, or one more life, and I would have been able to win if he didn't have uh, another creature or something. All right, this time I'm on the play. Got a ton of mana. Got a Serum Visions. So all I need to do is find a way to stay alive with the Serum Visions, and I'll win on turn four. All right. Well, time to keep that Angel's Grace, and I'll win next turn. Uh, turn four once I have enough mana. Assuming that I live to that point. Typically burn can't kill you before turn, uh, on their turn three, but you never know. Swift Spear, sure. Don't need the Lotus Bloom. Spoils the Vault. Do I need it? Not really. I suppose I'd rather draw a path or something. Honestly, the biggest problem with this deck right now is how badly it gets hosed by Teferi, making Lotus Bloom just die for no value. Because you can't cast Suspend spells when there's a... Um, to fairy in play. All right, well, he's going to need to get me pretty close to dead if he wants to have a chance at winning. Lose this turn. Got a Lotus Bloom. That was actually a pretty big mistake. Because if he's got a second Shatter effect, I might be dead. I can't spoils immediately. Because if I spoils immediately, I would lose. So 
Okay. No, it's fine. <sighs> All right, we got it. Not really anything you can cast that would make a difference. Abandon reason. Deck is exiled. And Thassa's Oracle, GG. Alright, victory is mine. See you next match.